Each week this month, Fox 35 is highlighting a missing person case in Central Florida. Tonight, we're sharing the story of Michelle Otter. As Fox 35's Daniel Lama reports, that teen left for school one morning and has not been seen in 24 years. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says that Michelle is one of about 125 active missing kids cases in Florida. She disappeared when she was just 15 years old, and Marion County deputies are sure someone from her town knows something. That day she left the house and was never seen again. It was May 7th, 1998 in Fort McCoy, a rural community north of Ocala. Michelle Otter left her family's home to go to school, possibly to catch the school bus. What happened to her next has stumped investigators for more than two decades. Initially it came in as a, as a runaway possibly, a 15 year old female that had left home, had, had not come back home from school. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says that theory was quickly thrown out. Michelle never showed up to North Marion High School at all. And as the days passed by, her disappearance grew more and more sinister. She took nothing with her. There was still money on her dresser, all of her clothes still, still there at the house. And so it, it led us to believe now we are suspecting something uh, more heinous. Days have turned into years without any answers. One of the biggest challenges, especially when, when working on a case such as a, a long-term missing child case, is keeping that case active in the public eye. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says most of the cases reported to them are resolved quickly. But we found some Florida kids' disappearances date back to the 1960s. The organization has a team devoted to showing the public how these kids may look today. They take pictures of the missing child. They take pictures of the mother, of the father around that age, and they work to make a composite, an age progression. This is Michelle's age progression. She would be 39 years old now. Little is known about her and what she's like as her family declined to talk with us for this story. The sheriff's office says shortly after the teen went missing, their trailer in Fort McCoy burned down. Investigators didn't find anything indicating the fire was suspicious. There is a missing piece to this puzzle, uh, the puzzle to, to solving her disappearance. And somebody has that missing piece. They're holding on to that. Marion County deputies say even a small detail could help them figure out what happened to Michelle. We'll have her story on our website, fox35orlando.com. You can share it to help spread the word about her case. Danielle Lama, Fox 35 News.